This is Camp Kennet. So you can see we got our temple turtles, some Florida cooters, red belly cooters, all these, you know, the cooters are natives, so they can take the temperatures no problem. So important, guys, when you're picking an animal to make sure that you're getting an animal that does well. And here we go, there it is, right over there. Oh, it just went down. They're very shy. Uh, we're, we're real close here for a second, let's see. Let's just sit on down. The, this is the serrated African mud turtle. I'm gonna grab it. They're not easy to grab. This is a cool turtle. This is a cool exotic. So this is the African serrated mud turtle. Uh, I, I don't know the Latin, it's Sinuatus, I believe, Serratus, uh, but anyway, look at this animal. Really cool. Now these guys are from Africa and they are hardy. They do very well here in South Florida. And this particular mud turtle, similar to some of the mud turtles in the United States, uh, they have a bit of a seam and they can kind of close their shell a little bit like a box turtle. Some of our mud turtles, he, he's also leaking a little bit on me. But this is a really cool animal right here, the serrated mud turtle from Africa. Uh, these guys are just really hardy and they're kind of interesting. Now they're a side neck. So you see, whoop, <laughs> almost got my finger in the shell. But you can see how they pull in and that's a really nice hinge. So it's similar to a box turtle. A lot of people don't realize box turtles aren't the only animals or the only turtles with hinges. So this is an African species that has evolved a nice way of protecting itself as well. The only difference is they can close the back end of their body up where a North American or some of the Asian box turtles can do that. And I was also talking about our North American mud turtles. They're only related in the fact that they're turtles. Obviously these guys are side neck. The Echina sternum or some of the American mud turtles are uh, what, what scientists call cryptodires. They pull their heads in straight back. All turtles in our country pull their heads straight back, whereas the pleriodires or side neck turtles pull their heads in to the side. It's kind of a little interesting species to learn about. You've learned a couple new vocabulary words, pleriodire and cryptodire, and uh, we got to see an African serrated mud turtle. Very cool. Why don't we let it go and see what it does? My guess is it's gonna split really quick. 